Do you want to learn how to attract absolutely anything to your existence? I'm talking about no matter what you want, no matter who you would like to attract, that you have the power and the potential, yes, you have the power and potential to attract or to draw whatever you desire to yourself. The question isn't do you have the power as much as it is do you really want to apply yourself to learn how to use that power. Burning desire or unwavering desire is one of the keys to the laws of attraction. This law of burning desire, this thing, this thing called I'm calling burning desire or unwavering desire is absolutely essential. But it can also be a stumbling block to your to your true self, okay? And what I mean is people very quickly attach to shit. They really desire something, they start to connect with that thing, and then as a result, they start to attach to that thing, and it becomes a stumbling block. And I'm going to talk about this paradoxical in intent later on this week, and that's a video that you need to be on the lookout for because I'm telling you right now that that is, a st that is one thing that you must be careful to never do. If you do it, you will sabotage all of your efforts. So be on the lookout for that video. But today, when I'm talking about unwavering desire, and this is uh, three simple, very, very, very simple steps, is this. What do you want? <clears throat> Ever, all of these steps are going to begin with what the hell do you want? Be specific. Be absolutely specific. Do I want uh, a lover? And what are the qualities I want in a lover? What do I, are the qualities I would like to attract in a business partner? What are the, what, what kind of resources would I like to attract? If I want to travel, where specifically do I want to travel? How long would I like to travel? Take the cap off, take the limits off, and just start to really be specific. What and where and how? A lot of people immediately go to, I want, I want one billion dollar Silas. I want to buy that Lambo on a billion dollars. Okay, awesome. Let's use this as an example for unwavering desire because it's quite possibly one of the things that can be difficult, to be honest, to attract to yourself because it's so easy to sabotage it vibrationally. The second step to achieving unwavering desire once you've written down exactly, specifically what you want to create is to emotionally connect with the desire. And... Here's, here's where it gets tricky. It's hard to emotionally connect with a million, a billion dollars. It's hard to emotionally connect with uh, these sh more shallow vibratory substances. And, and so when you're emotionally connecting with that desire or, or vibrating at its frequency, that's a low frequency to vibrate at. It's, it's, money is really an illusion. It's just part of the, it's part of the playground. It's, a, it's a, just currency. It's something that we trade for something else. And so it does play its role and it has its part, but it's hard to vibrate at that. Now, if you choose to really focus on that, then step three comes into play. I'm going to tell you about in a minute that is absolutely essential. If money is something you want to attract to yourself and or even partnership, the step three is absolutely vital. It's, it is really the, 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 the key cog in unwavering, in the secret of unwavering desire. But... Let's finish talking about emotional, the emotionally to emotionally connect. We we want to emotionally connect to whatever we're wanting to attract to ourselves, and that is to vibrate at its frequency. And so, if you want that one billion dollars, and you really start to vibrate at its frequency, what what actually ends up happening is the universe, all things in the universe, begin to draw or attract what is necessary. So again, you say, "I'm in this dead end." Uh, twelve dollars an hour uh, job at McDonald's. I'm waiting making twelve bucks an hour at McDonald's, man. And I, I want to make a million, I want to make a billion dollars. And I have a goal of making ten million dollars by next year. Awesome, man. Awesome, phenomenal. I can help you start to tr attract that to yourself. Here's the here's the problem, though. If you're focused on what you don't have, and we're gonna talk about this later, you won't get what you want to have. The burning desire that you have to impregnate both in your conscious and in your subconscious that will help you not quit. The reason why most people quit before they have attracted or received the thing that they want to attract to their life or who they want to attract to their life 
is because they have not impregnated this desire deep, deep down in their subconscious. So you must begin to dr bring all of this desire in and emotionally a a attract, attach to it, emotionally feel it, emotionally allow this thing to be impregnated into your in your being. Step three, the number one reason why burning desire is not impregnated into your subconscious is this. You need to not only ask what you want, as which was the first step, but you need to ask, why do you want it? Why do you want the billion dollars? See, it's very difficult to emotionally attach to a billion dollars, but it is not difficult to emotionally attach to why you want a billion dollars. If you want a billion dollars to save the planet or a billion dollars to start a new company or to end hunger or you know just to travel around the world and play, then those are ideas that you can really emotionally connect with. A billion dollars by itself is not specific. I know you might think it's specific, but it's really not. And so it's going to be very hard to attach emotionally to that idea. Some people can do it. But you can attach to the why. Why do I want a billion dollars? Why do I want to attract a lover who is authentically kind? Why? Why do I want that? And this actually, then this why is where you begin to really uh, access and raise the frequency into burning desire. Away from just, oh, I desire this to burning desire. I got to have it. It's mine. And that is, in other words, it becomes a healthy obsession. There are two different kinds of obsessions. There are unhealthy obsessions. I must have, I must have, I must have that come from lack. And then there's the burning desire that I'm talking about right now. This is a healthy obsession and it is the absolute key to this whole thing. I must have this. I'm going to have this. I have it. I'm thankful that I already have it here, but I'm going to have it. And this, this creates this emotional drive. I'm vibrating on its level, but then I will not stop for anything until this is mine. Because, because, until I see this manifest in my existence, because I know why I want it. And so be very specific with the why. Explore the why, the question why, until you can be super specific, okay? That is the key to unwavering desire. Listen, do me a favor. If you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, drop whatever comments you want to say to me in the comment section below or questions you might have for me, drop them below. And uh, go ahead, share this video with your friends and family. I know you have friends that also want to attract shit to their lives, so go ahead and share it. And last thing, last thing, knuckleheads, remember this. The more you awaken, the more you fucking play. Thank <laughs> you.